last night near West 6th Street, where a man was found shot inside a car. He was pronounced dead at the scene. City and community leaders gathering this morning to address the gun violence as well as the family and what comes next. And it really hurts your heart to um, lose not only a child but a grandchild. And so I know that Divine Karama and One Lexington have already connected with her and we'll do our due diligence to help her work through some scenarios for helping that family. A lot of people um, the last couple days were talking about how we hadn't had a homicide in the longest stretch in 10 years. Um, but for me, that doesn't mean anything. Um, it doesn't matter if it's one homicide or 45. It doesn't matter how long in between. It's a live loss and a family impacted. So for us, and I think Kenneth would agree, um, we felt hurt. Um, we felt pain and it informed the work moving forward. So we're just going to keep working. Now, no suspect information has been shared at this time. Lexington Police say if you have any information, you should reach out to the department. You can also submit a tip anonymously through Bluegrass Crime Stoppers. And coming up tonight at 6, hear from Marquise's grandmother and how this is not the first loss for the family from gun violence. For now, Anna Medina, ABC 36 News.